Hey, it's Rye. And we gotta talk about the pool bond. Again. And about broken trust. I'm asking you to trust me. No. And the blatant disregard of this community's voice. Because back in 2019, like we talked about last week, this entire community faced an almost $80 million decision that would have affected us all, especially our most economically vulnerable and our fixed income seniors. A pool bond, 90% rejected it. A resounding message. But did council listen? Most politicians would have hung it up, moved on, and most did, but not all. Just four years later, two original members remain. They hope you've forgotten that you'll trust them again. But trust them with what? You know, back in 2020, the council had a retreat, and they were reflecting on that massive defeat they had. And a former counselor blamed poor communications, not the bond's irresponsibility for the reason why they were unable to sell it properly. And I was reminded of that a couple weeks ago when Fire Chief was at council and asked for $75,000 for a consulting contract to get 51% of the votes. We are leading up to the bond and pushing information out. I am not an expert in um, how to penetrate to 51%. For an upcoming $40 million fire bond. I thought, what fire bond? Look, now today they say that they've learned some things from that failed pool bond. They've learned to go get the right consulting contracts in place, to go find the right experts, the right talent, to go gather the right data earlier before going to the voters. And that's great. But why stay silent then? Why no pushback? Why no no vote? They claim to have learned, but they voted to replace your pool with a splash pad. And to some folks, that just feels like punishment. They claim to be listening, but are they? Because nine out of 10 Kama citizens voted no to a $78 million pool bond. They didn't say no to a pool. That message just seems lost on city council. So are they in tune with us or just their 10% echo chamber? Clearly self-reflection and learning from past mistakes, not a strength here. That's unfortunate. I mean, it's more than unbelievable. It's disheartening. It's a bummer because Camus deserves better. We deserve leaders who represent us, who learn from errors, who don't impose, but listen and understand and act for all. So let's hold them accountable, demand transparency, responsibility, a government that hears us, not just consultants. No one's gonna give back your voice. We need to take back our voice. We need to ensure these sorts of things don't just keep happening because believe it or not, right now, as we speak, they're planning their next move. No kidding.